All right, so after we had to recover this guy from a drain at the university, had to unfortunately cut it to free up the uh, the head. So now it's time to put on a, a new swage. So that's obviously what you can obviously screw your quick connectors onto or the hose cheddar heads directly on. So this is a kit. Obviously I've just re replaced these as I require. I just got a new couple of new bunches in. So this is our quarter size. This one that's been cut from a long time ago. I don't know why I've still got them in there. So that's effectively the inside of and what happens is you can see those little rings. They actually need to be smoothed, not squared off edges, which are designed, squared off edges are designed for hydraulic hoses. Um, so in that, as this crimps down, we'll squeeze onto the, the jetter hose. Technically it's not supposed to be a, <coughs> a permanent fitting. It's actually supposed to be something used temporarily, but I've never had one pop and obviously they make the kit for it. So we've got a cleaned off end, so that's the hose that's been cut. As you can see the different layers inside. So what we do starting off, this is the quarter size. We'll get that into there. We we'll take a, a pen and quite important. Just put some marks on it so that way when we zip it up we know that we've got it properly done and we haven't sort of accidentally sort of crimped it down there by mistake, not, not fully honed. Alright, so this is the uh, swaging unit. So what we do is then we will find our appropriate size. So we've got three eighths, we've got a quarter, which is obviously the hose we're, we're fixing. So we'll take those out. We also have a one eighth for a tiny hose and a three sixteenth as well, which is just neat, which, is, which was one of those. I think this one here was leaking at the fitting and that's why that one got replaced so we'll take that and this is the unit here so we've got to basically is we take that we take that and they just sit inside there and what you do is you lock them in place either end okay that for now and from there we take our hose and with our markings I might just bring that back a little bit through there I might just bring that haven't done this for a little while I'm gonna just remind myself of the process all the way and to that line and then you like that one and it just gets basically as you can see it's tapered down I'm going to show you the big ones if I show you the big one here you see how they taper down and they squeeze it all and that's going to push down on there alright so we are home yes and the key is Just rotating that down. Okay. Probably should have had this the other way around. So what we might do is just rotate. We're going to be rotating that way. It's going to want to flip over this side. If we're doing. Just gonna pull some more free through there. And key is make sure we have plenty of straight slack in the back. That is flush. And obviously when we do it up, if that mark I did doesn't line up, unfortunately then we have to cut it off and redo it again. So and what I just do is make sure I keep that just until it gets started. You can see that it's pushing itself in. Yeah. 
just to finish this off. And then you can see we still have a line we marked up. It's fully honed, so fully squeezed, pushed home. And it's important if that line had been down here, it had been in the wrong spot. And we've got a nice little bubbling on there. So technically, obviously, when a machine, like one of the big hydraulic fitters do it with the hydraulic machines, they typically will make these kinds of scoring marks, you see. And these are supposed to be technically yeah, size, but they're pretty good. So we're good to go. We can now go do our first job of Saturday morning and we'll go do another job after that and hopefully someone will give us the rest of the day off so we can get some paperwork done so what I'll just do is because this actually has, doesn't have a a, um, a slot for all of them individually you always have to keep one in the die the one that dies in the um, in the machine but it's normally the quarter always anyway 90% of the time if you're replacing Okay, we'll just close that down gently. And those are these are like little mailings. These are females. They don't slot anywhere, so we'll just chuck them there. Close it up. Very handy kit to have. And that's us, done.